Okay, uh, can you like take hydrogen out of water? Is that like where we're getting it from or Absolutely. are we pulling it out of like, you know, gas vents in the ground? Yeah, so <laughs> so again, not very many sources of, of molecular hydrogen on Earth, uh, but there are other ways to get it. Typically it's either, you know, majority today comes from natural gas. Natural gas is primarily methane, CH4, okay. a carbon atom with uh, four hydrogens around it. You can take that hydrogen away. Um, the byproduct of that is, is typically CO2. Okay. And so you can get gray or blue hydrogen where you either just let that CO2 go up in the atmosphere or you try to like sequester it in some way. But most all the studies I've seen have said that when you do that, there are still massive carbon emissions associated. Sure, with you're like using like machines that use a ton of energy that are yeah, from coal burning power plants. And you're plants. still <laughs> you're still drilling wells okay, and you're okay. doing all this stuff. And so personally, I'm not a big fan of of hydrogen that's derived from natural gas. Okay, um, which is the majority of the hydrogen today. In fact, like there is a hydrogen filling station I visited recently. I think you know the closest one to us is probably the one down in Truckee, and people fill up their cars. You know that stuff is coming from natural gas. Probably on a pound for pound basis, not kilogram for kilogram basis, not not great for the environment. Um, but that that is you know today pretty much where hydrogen comes from. This is called steam reforming of methane, natural gas, um, and it is it is hydrogen that's derived from a fossil fuel 